Okay, let's start with the importance of the structure. I know that probably everybody knows that, but I like to give another view and I like to give you some examples and uh, why and how it is very important to us. As we know, as you see, we are organizational therapists, synergists, organizational therapists, which means that we do the therapy. Usually people believe that certain therapy is just to bring somebody, which means, you know, what Dr. Dizes, what he says is you can't put a pilot in a submarine, expect to fly. So in reality, you know, it's not enough. We need to help companies to restructure and then to have something as a result. Okay. In general, we are in a revenue increasing. We do not know how to do cost cutting. That is what is not really a disease. We are helping companies to grow. Although in phase six, when you have a blue book, when you have those, uh, you know, PNLs over the place, I can guarantee that you can cost, co cut the cost for a few percentages just by using them, you know, to clean stupidity, nothing more than that. Not really, you know, not uh, laying down, I don't know, 20,000 people. No, I'm not talking about that, but just using such things, you can reduce that. But in reality, we are really helping companies to grow. That is what we are good at. Uh, at the same time, in many cases, we try to help CEOs, not everybody to come for decisions, although it's difficult because sometimes they like it. <laughs> they like to be involved in everything. But that is that is a very important point. And there is a story when the guy, he brings a cow and another says, you know, come, I like to show you something. And, uh, you know, I cannot because the cow will escape. And he says, okay, but who is keeping whom? Do you keep your cow or your cow keeps you? You know, so that's the question. In order to grow, you need to let something to go. The cow. Cow. At <laughs> least cow. <laughs> or your profit centers or choose. Okay? So that is that <laughs> what is that what is very important. And it's interesting. I we got this sentence from our client. He said. You know, Adizes is team process to make individual accountability. You know, so that is, that's, I think that he made it, you know, he made it better than we <laughs> tried. You know, in reality, it's true. It's a team process. But at the same time, team process makes chaos. It's a change. Who knows what is this? No? Sweden. Sweden, you know, when they changed, that was the first day when Sweden tried to make, you know, to start driving from left to right, you know, and that's what's happened. <laughs> so that is change, you know, so, and in many cases, we really, uh, we have huge changes in our restructuring processes. So it's not only, you know, like makeup, you know, it's, it's more than that. So at the same time, when we try to do that, what is really important is not to have view from below because many people try to do that, but to have really, you know, the general approach to understand, you know, to understand what's going on, to see what's happening with the pieces of your, of your business. And gradually, you know, we have, we formed so many groups based on different, what you said in American Fidelity, that you, they are just a piece of the totality, you know. So, and that's it. You know, sometimes maybe some of those should be merged or I don't know, should be somehow restructured because everything changed. It cannot stay exactly the same, but from that, it's not, you know, come to do restructuring of small unit down there. But you must understand the totality. And understanding the totality is also mission and other things. Syndac, everything is, you know, in the picture of totality. So that's why we need also different perspective. You know, definition of madness, do everything the same and expect that something else will happen. So in reality, we try to bring different perspective. 
but not to push for, you know, because we are not there to push anything. We are there to facilitate, to integrate that and to really, but sometimes, you know, I, I would tell you, I, sometimes I, I say to people when I create a structure, I say, you know, I need to save my soul. I need to tell you, and it's up to you if you are going to accept or not. Uh, but in many cases, what happened is that what I told them, it happened in five years. But it was probably too early for that. You know, that's okay. You, you should not, you know, you should not push for that because it's not your responsibility. It's their responsibility in the way. On the other hand, what people like? People like copy-paste approach. So, have you done insurance company? Yeah, okay, then now you can come and to do, and to do something. That's what people like. People don't want to think. But at the same time, you know, uh, I will tell you, I, I had one company, IT, and then JJ, I think that he said that yesterday, based on this base uh, database we had, I and also I, I knew who did. I talked to two of our associates who did uh, these IT companies. It was good preparation, but nothing happened out of that. The structure was completely different. Although it is IT, doesn't matter. Totally doesn't matter, you know, because these guys, they had a product. These guys, they do not have a product. So it's not the same. So the, some of them been in outsourcing, you know, so so completely it's IT. But IT and IT is not IT. You know, it's a, it's really it's really the question. What, what What's the meaning? Of that? Can I can I call you on this one? Yeah. IT and IT is not IT. Exactly. <laughs> but must be in the context, <laughs> otherwise it will be a little bit strange. Uh, so, no copy-paste. But on the other hand, what we know that uh, everything before structure is preparation of the structure, everything after the structure is reinforcement of the structure. So, that's what we, that is what we believe in Adizas, and we believe that, you know, as I said in the opening dinner, I come from the country where we had the socialism, communism, and then by changing the environment, everything was changed. So we have communists, they become good capitalists. Just change, you know, the environment and people will change, no problem. So that's what we try. We try in order, in, in, in fact, if you have slow, that's what, what was the example here, we have an aging company, and then we need to move, you know, to become more, more agile in a way, okay? So, uh, Idea is, by the way, everybody ever played volleyball? Yeah, okay. So when we have two players trying to hit the ball and the person who is hitting the ball is screaming what? <laughs> and what do we scream in the companies? Yours. As you, <laughs> you see. Uh, everybody knows. So what is that in reality? That when you have somebody in the company and you have many people in the company who are screaming, it's not mine, it's yours, you have losers, okay? And they are go they will talk, whose ball was that? Okay. That means that we lost. And that is what we really want. And if you want to move, to use the words, and there are many words, which is accountability, responsibility, commitment, engagement, agile, motivation, that's it. I like somebody to hit the ball. All the rest is, you know, it is theoretical discussion. You know, is it your approach, my approach, or, or in the corridor to pick up the garbage? That's it what we are asking for. That in reality, you know, all the rest is just theoretical discussion. So we want people to move, okay? We want people not because it is written in job description, but we want, you know, to make them to feel and to be, and let's use the word maybe commitment. Okay, let's see. There are three elements for commitment that people will be, uh, will feel committed. Do I know what to do? Can I do it? Or again, rewarded, it's mean my perception. It's not, it's money plus, it's money, but it's also, you know, all the rest, what you said, that we are satisfied in the company, all, all such stuff. So three things, do I know what, can I, and am I going to be rewarded? So, this, but again, just your perspective and your perception on that. So let's use some examples. <clears throat> I know what to do, I can, but I'm not going to be rewarded. So 
what is my level of commitment? Yeah, the, the lower one. Maybe not at the beginning because you are waiting. Probably somebody will see. Probably, you know, somebody will say you are okay. But if nothing happens, it's there. Yeah. And uh, the other way, uh, same. Let's use, let's use another example. Other way. <laughs> let's use that. So assume again, I know what, but I cannot. But at the same time, I'm going to be rewarded. You will performance in the lower one. Sure. Is it possible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many big companies have that. You know, middle management is stuck. You know, they cannot decide anything. But at the same time, maybe, you know, the benefits and all the stuff is not so bad, you know. But again, the question is the level of commitment. Uh, Still or, here. Or the lack of copy. Sure. I, the, the copy is also part of can. You know, can I do it or not? Authority, anything, you know? Yeah, please. And also a matter of perceptions could be, right? The is, want, and should. Sure, agree. But in general, that is the situation of many big companies. That you know from the top to the bottom, you know, they maybe they are satisfied or whatever. But in reality, I mean, I, I have seen some companies which they need to sign. 10 people should sign something in order to happen. You know, so like our contract with some, we, we did some trainings for huge company. You know, it was really tense. You, you see that 10 people should sign in order to get the contract. So it's crazy. At the same time, the third example, I don't know what to do in the company. Okay? Based on that, I can do it. Am I right? If you do not get any idea what to do in company, you can do it. That, that, that's clear. Eh? Okay. And I'm going to be rewarded. Sure. No, no. Who is this in the government-owned company and who is this in the private company? In the, in the government? Yeah. Everybody. Some advisors, political friends, I don't know, whoever. Maybe they should not even come to, to the job, I mean, to the work. They don't need to. I'm in the private company? Son of a boss. Son of the boss, no, exactly. Control. Not necessarily, but can be, you know? He comes, you know, to get new Mercedes and he does not care. So that's what's happening. So again, you see, again, the level of commitment is here. Whatever of these three is the lowest, that is the level of commitment. Right. Or you don't know what to do, or you cannot do it, or your perception is that you are not going to be rewarded. So that means that if we want to make, you know, and this is, of course, it's not uh, binary, zero, one, you know, you need to bring it together. If something of this is lower, that would be level of motivation, agility, I mean, choose the words, you know, all those that, commitment, accountability, whatever, okay? In the thesis, when we put together with our classical phases, then we have mission, yeah, then structure, then information, planning, reporting, etc., and rewards. If that is aligned, then we believe that the result is that people will behave in an accountable way. That's what we believe. And must be aligned. And that is the previous story, because otherwise, if it's not aligned, <laughs> that's the level. It's not the right one. If now you put the previous slide on this one, this is really what? This is can, and this is rewards. Okay? So these are the tools. Structure, blue book, uh, black book, all the stuff. These are the tools to make, you know, it happens. Okay? So... Now, I will talk only about this. I will not go into the others, okay? So, and also we need to take care of life cycle because that is very important. And what we said, and also from, we believe that by stomach, but what JJ told us is that in reality, we have that, that here are somewhere here are our clients. In Huge majority of cases. I mean, that's uh, almost, I don't know, probably 90% of that. Maybe Dr. Dizes has some, you know, aristocracies and I don't know. And when he talks about these huge banks, but in reality, we are, we are good here and we have companies here. Can, can I make a comment on yeah. the previous slides, please? Yes, sure. This one? 
Yeah. When you say mission, you mean mission, vision, and values, true. right? True, true. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I find that uh, there's a difference between accountability and engagement. Okay. And one of the big uh, things today is that we find that people, they don't feel engaged in the company. They don't really feel because they work remotely and stuff. And I think if you can have a like a higher purpose and that the values are really aligned, I think you get a higher level of engagement, which leads to a higher level of accountability, even when you're aligned. I, I agree. But what I'm trying to say, I don't want to go to theoretical discussions because otherwise the message is not clear. Okay? So for me and for the general public, accountability, responsibility, motivation, engagement, etc., is the same. So that is go and take the garbage from the corridor. That's it. You know, I want people to be, to put themselves into the company, whatever it means. All the rest is, and you know, for the beginning, I've, of course, I can agree and we can discuss that, but it's simply not, not for the purpose of this, of this lecture. Okay. So let's talk about life cycle. I will not talk about life cycle. You know, life cycle, but let's take the, some conclusions from the life cycle. Okay. So. When we have the structure and the company is young, small, early in the life cycle, okay. we have sales. And again, question to you, sales, is it short term or long term? Short -term. Or is it short term? Short term. Okay. I agree. Where is long term in a small company? Where is the marketing in the long term, but in the small company? CEO. No, they know. No. Well, and even, even in such company, maybe you don't need to have really CEO or sorry, marketing director yeah, as because it would be a huge fight yeah. because you know, maybe you need really assistant to, uh, for marketing in a small company. That's why I'm starting, you know, from the beginning, then the same story where, and I will not really ask you, you know, this lecture that production is also sister of the sales. So what they sell, they should produce or vice versa doesn't matter. So that means it's also short. But again, who is deciding about new products? And the president. Oh. Then there is another one, accounting, but who is making investment? This is short, yeah. But who is making investments? The CEO. The CEO. I mean, maybe he does not know anything about finance, but that is finance in reality. You know, he does financial decisions. <laughs> is it with knowledge or without knowledge? That's a different, that's a different discussion. Right. And the same story, whom we are going to bring or hire or fire. That is, you know, the administration is a short, that's a, about people, but that is long. And now if that person has an accident or dies, then what will happen? We have just short term people there. They do not understand where to go. They don't understand anything about the long term. Mm -hmm. And this company will die very easily. No, no doubt of that. We had during Corona, because now everybody is mentioning Corona. So let me do the same. So uh, it happened during the Corona. We called, we got a, a, a call from one company, seven companies, in fact, one owner. Owner died because of Corona, but there is no group. There are seven separate legal entities and only he knew what's going on. There is one son who is in one of the companies, but he does not understand what is there. What will happen? We did not get any job out of that, but that was, you know, very, very interesting, interesting example, what we, what we had, but it's more or less like this. Okay. Now the most popular, uh, Sure. Slide connected to the structure. Okay. When you have sales and now what will, it will grow. And now you will have also marketing department. You will have sales department, you will have marketing department and so on. But again, if they are, if you put them together, we agree that marketing, R and D, strategic planning, finance, and HRD, they are long-term. Okay. The most questionable, I don't know, is it in United States? You will tell me, but I know that in Eastern Europe, 80% of finance people are in fact accounting guys. Nobody is really doing finance. Not in the US. Okay, thank you. 
<laughs> I call, you know, I'm just polite. Uh, I, I like to be polite. So, uh, I do not even have my, my uh, yeah, please. No, they don't let no, the no. accountants make finance decisions. Yeah, I'm sure no, it's sales and marketing. It's sales support. It's not my Exactly. Like, and uh, the result is that they behave in a short run way. Short run, this, uh, this place, uh, uh, no. Bring me money. Right. Bring me money. You know, that is, that's a short run. I mean, otherwise, don't, don't talk about marketing. That's it. So, the same here, you know, because it's always more important because if that is under one person, <laughs> it, it, you know, your KPIs would be on production, not on, not on really R&D. So, as a result, and even if it's not, because sales will push you that you must fulfill the production plan. And again, it would be short-term oriented. But somehow, this strategic guy, he can be long-term oriented. But he's by his own. But how important is, is he in the company? Yeah, he's yeah. a pain in the ass. You know, always nobody likes him, you know. Uh, and he's not, you know, talking about some general ideas. But that's it. Because these people, these are the real people. No, that's a strategic guy. Doesn't matter. So what's happening really is that you see, maybe we can have that, but the rest is also finance accounting, again, accounting perspective, HRA, HRD, you know, who is on maternity leave? I mean, whatever, that is what we need to discuss. And then it's going to be shorter and assume that this is executive committee. Right. They will come to the CEO. Which type of problems will they bring to the CEO? Shorter. You're putting at the same level as the other strategic planning. Uh, what position is usually in your mind when you're thinking about this such? Nay. Vice President for Development. I don't know. Choose the name. Chief no, no, Strategy no, Officer no, nowadays. They no, have it today. Over. The problem that the, he is reporting to a, the CEO, which is a short run guy too. But why he is short? Because look at this. By definition, founder, owner must have E. Yeah. So that means that he wants to, you know, think long term. But when you start running, when so the company was lose running, you're losing the perspective. And then, you know, these guys will bring short term problems to the table. I've seen the company of 5000 people uh, where the CEO went to the customs to see what's going on with the truck. Right. But that company does not exist today, <laughs> you know, so, but that's reality and we can talk about that, but that's reality. So what is idea not to bring him into the short term or her into short term mode, but to try to build something. What is that? So that is our story. And that is where we are going to start really talking about the structures. What is sales and production together? That is in fact profit center which means that somebody can explain how the business is going on, what's going on, you know? So that's, that's the logic. And in reality, that is what you can delegate. Because you, what is, you are what? If you are at the top of the company, you are the founder, you should be the saint protector of long-term functions. So if the company is small, maybe the CEO is also chief of the marketing. If he is in the engineer, maybe he is chief of R&D and CEO at the same time. Yeah. And that's okay at the beginning. What is schizophrenic? That he wants to do something long-term. At the same time, he wants to be the, the, the main salesperson. Okay. Then you are in trouble. Yeah, please. It's not really that he wants to be. But or it's forced to, forced to be. But forced to be. it also makes sense. For example, when you're lo looking at sales, for example, mm -hmm. you can have salespeople there. But when you have a, like a medium to large account at that size of the company, in general, the CEO gets involved because it brings credibility. But he should not have his plan of sales. He's not. He not there to fulfill the plan. No. He's there to open the door. He's there to drink. He is there to. Close also, the, the, yeah. but but again, the, but that's that, that's not the problem. That's normal because every CEO is also salesperson, yeah. although it's not written. Okay? He does not put you know CEO slash sales. I mean, uh, that, there is no sense in that. But in reality, it is that that's what's happening. So the idea is, and that is what Doctor Adiza said. You need to find the 
a toy for CEO to take, you know, to play with. And that is something of this, or maybe some nursery, maybe some new green unit. I have a client who is, uh, who left the company. He is now 80 years old, like Dr. Adiza is, or I don't know, I think that Dr. Adiza is probably a few years older, but he is doing now uh, solar equipment. I don't know what else it, you know, it is, you know, food distribution company, but now he is doing something else. And when you talk to him and you know, go and play with your grandchildren, he says, but I never, you know, I never have done that, you know, in my life, you know, I don't know how to play with them. You know, I know the business, you know, that's, that's my, really, that's my, my toy. That's my toy. And you need to find a toy. Otherwise you cannot do anything. You know, you cannot say, go and f go to go fishing, you know, it's okay. Two, the, two days, you know, and then what? So go back and do and destroy the company. So that is what you cannot do. But at the same time, you need to build as many as possible different types of profit centers. And I will go there to, to see, uh, to, to explain how and what. So the result is that in life cycle, at certain point, which is somewhere between gogo -go and adolescence, don't ask me for exact you know, point, I don't know, but somewhere there, you need to give a life to your kids. And exactly like in family, one person is dying, family is not dying. In average, family is always the same age. Just calculate, <laughs> because if somebody is older, then you have youngsters. But if you do not have, you know, if, if that person is not so young, uh, sorry, so not so old, you do not have grandchildren, <laughs> in fact. So in average, more or less, you are always the same. So that's the logic. You need to, you need to bring, you need to give chance for others to grow. And as a result of that, you will have new life cycles. If you have a kid which is 30 years old and you still prepare him a breakfast, you are in trouble. Okay. So, huh? go to Italy and you'll see it. I know, I know, <laughs> but that's true. I know, I understand, but that is, that's the cultural. Yes, issue. the values, the values and the culture. But again, you can make easily idiot. That's very, very luckily that will happen. You know, so that's what, what that's what's going on. So exactly in the company, you can take everything, you can have everything, and then you will make idiots. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So that's what that's what's going on. So why that is so important? Because what we need is to do the centralization, not centralization. Okay? Which means that we need to push E to lower level. What does it mean? People should think at lower level, should not come to see all the time, should be proactive, should have, of course, you know, you need to have, again, we need to bring them all that can, all the tools that they can do that. But otherwise we need to, in the structure, we need to decentralize that is, you know, to push E to lower level. And then to get kids and kids will have some uh, other kids. Somebody will die, exactly like in the family. Somebody will die, somebody will have many kids, somebody will have no kids. And that's exactly like in family. And then you are managing that, let's say. Uh, on the other hand, what we want to, okay? That's the, that's the, we don't want that. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's a good example. <laughs> Farmer's market. Okay, if you want this, this okay, is better. Okay, okay, choose. I don't care. Choose exactly the same. I know that you will complain, so I, 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 I thought I, 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 I was ready for you. Okay, this person, he knows PNL. He knows balance sheet. He knows cash flow. Of course, he does not know name of that, but he yeah. knows everything. Yeah, yeah. Agree. We, as we grow as a companies, we don't know anything. Okay. It was what in American Fidelity, 
sentence quote, and they started to report on you know PNL of that unit. End of the quote. So that means you know that these guys with a small business they know, with a huge business yeah. we know just you know the end result and that's it. Nobody knows what's going on inside. You know. Excuse me for my, because I'm from Europe, you know, we are, you, are, you are always politically correct. You know, say, what, the guy says, do you know why I like group sex? Because somebody else can do the job. <laughs> you know? So, and that's happening here. Somebody else is doing the job. Nobody knows who is doing that, you know? And then the logic is that we don't want to have this situation with CEO. You know? Everybody comes to CEO and they are so impressed with CEO, you know, to come to tell everything, you know, and so on. So that, that's the logic. And if you have that logic, I mean, this is very simple logic, but that is behind all Adiza's organizational structures. We do not make centralization. We do not, we try to include more people. We try, you know, all of them to behave like small CEOs, like these ladies and, and, and grandmothers and fathers on the, on the farmer's market. That's what we are trying to do. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's go to the structures. Okay, now what, and that is now, now we will go to the, to the prime probably, uh, that you have a different units in different phases. And now you, what you do is a portfolio. In fact, you play with something closed, something open. I don't know, depends. Uh, and that is the way how the, how the group should start. And the famous, famous example, the, that is everything was Google. Gradually, all the attempts to R&D inside became something new and not related to software at all. Some of these guys, you know, YouTube are, it's both Android in at the beginning, it was acquired and then developed. Uh, YouTube at the same. But then, in order to be structured in the right way, this is software or internet software or choose, choose the name of that. But Nest is not software at all. So you had to take it out. But when you take it out, then you must have a group. Yeah. And that's the logic. That's the logic because otherwise you will you will not uh, you will not uh, succeed. And now some of these kids will die. Really, this is the picture probably ten years ago. I don't, yeah. you know. So I'm not sure who is alive, who is not alive. Okay, but the point is, and that is why Facebook has a problem, because Meta is just the game. That's still the Facebook. And even if you will try, I had that on the previous convention, I will not go into that. Even if you go and try to put, you know, Meta, you will get Facebook, you know, and such, such things. So that means that they do not have really alphabet. They do not have really the group, but they are trying everything to manage through Google. So that is, that is example, example of that. So you should bring life to your kids and let them fly. That's the point. And that's true in our lives. That's true in, in the companies. So, yeah, please. But what, what did you say about uh, Meta? That, uh, that's okay. Meta is... Because it's still Facebook. Uh, he, he's, he's the chief of the Facebook. He changed that the name on the, on the stock exchange. There is no real, real uh, headquarters in that. He is running Facebook. Facebook is the group, used to be the group, used to be the product, used to be the, uh, used to be the platform, used to be everything. So there is no dis di not distinguished in this case. That's why they invented the name Alpha, but they are really having Alpha, Alphabet. There is a financial reason as to why they've sure, done this. But it's not only that. You cannot manage your career kids in that way. And then that is exactly the previous picture when you had a situation. Not, I don't know why this is happening. Uh, that you have a different units and used to be maybe, maybe this is the company you started with, but then many other things happen, and then you must have somebody who is the chief of totality, not from, you know, bottom line to manage everybody. So that's, that's the idea. I don't know why this is happening. 
with the next that that would be one other example okay okay that's my daughter many years ago but i said profit centers are like your children so that's it now the idea is not to put all the eggs in one basket or more scientific way diversification <laughs> choose choose the words doesn't matter so which structures we have so let's see this is one of the creative creative structure that is what we had one client in ukraine so we did the structure and then they rearrange it in a way that they understand but, okay but then this one is also organizational structure how was explained by one of our clients okay and i put it on the on the covers of my book about the structure mm -hmm. which is published a few days ago so you know because that's that's the explanation you see that everything is clear Okay, so which type of units we have? We have achievement centers, and every achievement center has certain intent. So we know what we expect from them, okay? And that is defined by color for clarity. All this I will not talk right now. The logic is like different units, and in chess, you find different figures. So, you know, they are the, the rules are different. You know, this is going this way, another is going that way. Yeah. So exactly the same in the structures. And then we have, in fact, three type of structures. Uh, sorry, units. Greens, yellows, and reds. There are more, but for the moment, good enough. You know, for explanation, absolutely good enough. Profit center, whoever is chief of profit center is... Uh, accountable for PNL from something. What is from something? Product, project, uh, client, region, I don't know. Choose. Shop, building, it's up to you. Can be different. I will come to that later. Service center is giving services to the Greens based on non-profit motive, which means it is on the cost of production or cost of the service. Uh, but must be certain measurement of that. Yeah. It cannot be just 2% and that's it. Must be something, you know, uh, three hours or, or I don't know how many kilometers or I don't know what. Must be certain measurement. And the red units, support centers, are, uh, are those who also serve the others, but there is no direct charging for that. So, or calculation of that will be much the cost of calculation will be higher than benefit you can get out of that simply because theoretically you know in accounting there is a rule everything can be account, account, uh, counted and accounted but there is a price for that or 20 more accountants or three more sap software you know choose i mean it, everything can be can be accounted okay so <laughs> there is one example one example from denmark real story the guy is inventing gadgets you know he is in gadgets i don't know which type I mean, anything okay so he sits in denmark then when he invents something then people in italy will do the design okay then production used to be in china i don't know now <laughs> but used to be then some german company will transport to Europe. Then there are websites in United States and European Union. They sell those gadgets. And then there is a friend next village in, in Denmark, which is the decentralized country. You know, they is doing accounting. Another one is doing legal in next village too. Okay. Who is profit center out of all these units? Sales. No. Owner. <laughs> owner, owner, owner. Yes. Owner is, you know, coordinating all the stuff. Yeah. The, all these guys are doing piece of that. And of course, there is a price for that. But, you know, the sales, you know, I mean, you know, these, uh, you know, what is Bolt, Walt, I don't know, whatever the name of that. They are doing, you know, they do delivery. So they take a huge amount of that. They do selling for you. They do delivery for you. And you pay for them, <laughs> you know, for that, for that service. Okay. So that means that owner is green. Design is yellow. 
in a way, although you will say, yeah, but you know, they are also profitable. You're right. But for me, that is input price. From my point of view, it is input price and I'm just one of the clients of them. You know, maybe they have thousand clients. I don't know how many clients they have. Right. For me, it is clear price. How much is the cost of design? And then there is also how much is the cost of production? How much is the cost of transport of logistics from China to Europe? How much I pay for service of selling? Only what is read is accounting and legal because they are not connected to any uh, to any quantity, you know, and so on and so on. Now, again, the key question to understand uh, to understand the profit center is how is the business going on? Who can be answer that question? If you do not have anybody to answer that question, or only the top guy can answer that question, you are in trouble. Okay, so that means that you do not have profit center. Now, what will be the next? You will decide probably, depends on your investment. I would, you know, you know, if I do, if I invent something, then maybe I can do design. So I don't want to pay that. It depends. What is your, or you can say, I will, or I will do my website. Or you can say, you know, I will buy Chinese factory there. That would be my Chinese people there doing something. No, that depends. What will happen? Gradually, you will put everything inside. What is lo what we are losing? Yellow. We don't know the pricing. We don't know what's going on inside. Gradually, we become a big red unit, which everybody does something, no problem. But at the same time, how much is the cost? What's going on is gradually losing. Who is only one accountable? The person here. Nobody else. All the rest you don't know. Company will grow and you will get such kind of situations. <laughs> and gradually, you know, uh, the biggest company I did structure was uh, Kazakh Telecom, uh, Peter's client, 27,000 people. Okay? And believe me or not, it was only one accountable. You know, chief technical officer had a budget of five five hundred million dollars, and he could spend it. You cannot believe, you know, he is very good in that. But he does not care at all about the result. Do we have that money? He does not care. You know, he he spends. Nice, <laughs> nice job, huh? nice job. I I I would apply it for. <laughs> I would apply for such job. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we believe is that the logic should be like this, that you, that your business is, that you can split your business into few, then that can be further and so on. Okay. So in case of American fidelity, you know, public and uh, private, private yeah. then maybe, so now there's a discussion. Do you go by industry or do you buy states? Or maybe you can put four states together. I don't know. It depends. You know, that's a different, different discussion. But but then you try to make the logical greens, logical profit centers, where somebody can answer and can be really accountable for the results of certain out of certain things. Again, maybe industry, maybe uh, maybe uh, geography, geography, or combination, or inside one geography different in that industries. I don't know. And then you could also wonder, do the salespeople sell both or do they, are they dedicated exactly. to each? Exactly. That is because effectiveness is that, you know, uh, you know, if you increase the efficiency that if they will sell both, but you decrease effectiveness. So now you, you need to find what, what do you want? You know, so, and of course it's going to be changed maybe in a few years. You will find out, or if you will grow, then you will you will find out that it's better to be you know to be organized in a different way. So that's always always the case. In reality, what we do, we have one we have people whom we have, and they are playing is game, and then we change into shoot game. So now the positions are different. You know now they play. I mean the same guys, the same people, but now you know the rules are different. And you know, and the results are different. So that's what we are really, really doing here. 
Just imagine, uh, I, I think that, uh, I, I don't remember who said that, but I, I, I promise to answer the question, especially go-go adolescents, you have this situation. Imagine that you have somebody who is the best singer in the company, at the same time can repair the printers, and it's oh. excellent in selling. I'm okay with you? Yes. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, if this person will leave the company, you will never find the same. Okay, no way. What you can admit that this is schizophrenic, because assume, I don't know, maybe the, uh, I mean, singer is probably uh, belongs to marketing. I don't know. I don't know where. Okay. So assume you sh should report to chief of marketing, to chief of sales, to chief of IT. You have three different educations, different trainings, different budgets, and you believe that you do very well. That's absolutely crazy. So we believe that we have, you know, three head dragon, but in reality, what we need to do is we need to understand that it's not, this is not the name of your job, of your job. Seeing sales repairs. No, you have three positions and we need in the structure to split, you know, and to open, open up those positions. And then because they, they are not full-time job today, we are going to appoint one, two or three or the same person. In six months, we need to decide which out of these three is not going to be your job. You need to decide what not to do. Okay? So that's gradually how we move that. Yeah. <laughs> that is also, we had a situation after in one company uh, when we finished the structure, it turned out that CEO is, uh, was sitting on six positions. And you know, and because he was the owner, he can say, I do everything well, but it's not true. You know, simply it's not true. It's just a question of what not, <laughs> you know, not what yes. So gradually, then we decided what and where you should find somebody, where you should promote somebody, and then it's okay. So imagine that at the beginning, you have a representative office somewhere, new country, new state, whatever. Okay. So at the same time, the person, as duties of sales, marketing, administration, customs, and that is job description. One person. And now you grow. So what can you do? You know, at the beginning, that was assume sales was part of your job. If assume that is one third of this guy, so that that is how much he should spend on the sales. As it grows, you will have one person assigned fully to that. You will delegate that, you know, and now you have one, one person who is completely in sales and you are doing something else. Gradually, it will grow and you have a department. So in the one structure, you know, immediately you know how to do it. And I will tell you, I, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. There is one very simple logic. If you have these brackets, it means that this guy is yeah. also chief of this. Okay. So that's the, that's the logic. So make it, make it clear. So when you open, uh, when you open the, whoop, what's going on? When you open the department, uh, the uh, representative office at the beginning, that person has brackets on all these units. Maybe nobody's there. Maybe somebody is in customs but you are ready to grow, okay? Now, probably you will take this out because I, I believe that you don't like administrative things and such, you know, so you will find somebody and say, you will take care of that. Who does? Okay, <laughs> and then gradually, what would be the next? Next would be, you know, maybe you don't want to run all over the place and you will find somebody for sales, you will be just marketing, and when your representative office is big enough, you will be just chief of representative office, and we want to know that uh, is right. Now, uh, th this example is, uh, uh, imagine that we have, I don't know, pharmaceutical representative office in one country, and we try to think about training. Okay? And all these things would be, let's say, in different time frames. So at the beginning, 
quiz. It was just established. Managing director of the office should take care of training. He does not have anybody, no, no HR, nobody. So who will train people? You will train people. So, because there is no box, that means that's part of your job description. Next, it will be, ah, we established training center. Now maybe I have few people there, but I do not have a boss of training center, that's me. I will cover that because that is so important at the beginning of the of our of our job there. Now, the next. How long is between these two? I don't know. Can be a year, can be two, I mean, I don't know. Nobody knows. But gradually you project the growth. You project the development. Now I have a training center, which means that I have somebody who is really chief of training center, and that is and the people inside. After that, but I, I as a CEO. I do not have anything with the training center. And now the next one. Now we invented HRD. We said, ah, we must have HRD. Okay, HRD has training center. Chief of HRD is a chief of training center. Has something else. Doesn't matter what has. Okay. Then the next one will be, you know, okay, I took out my brackets and I have somebody now who is over there and HRD director is somebody who will be just for HRD, not for training, etc. Next development, we have divisions. In divisions, I will have a trade centralized training center. I have my division HRD people who are taking care of divisions, but they will bring people to the center to have a training in the center. And all of that is HRD. Okay. Now we have a story of probably, I don't know, five years, 10 years, nobody knows. Okay. And all of this, every column is different time, uh, in, in uh, time frame. Okay. So it's not one structure. It is just presented in that way, which, how do you can, uh, how can you create uh, profit centers? It can be regions. It may be like your structure, <laughs> it's United States with, with some states. Yeah? It can be based on that regions or can be based on the industries, client groups, okay? because that's their needs. And then in general logic is, although you cannot do always that time, but if you understand the needs of the clients, that's the best way to be organized. If you can, it's not, it's not automatically done that way. Okay. But the logic is, if I know the, I don't know, oil industry or chemical industry, then maybe I know better how to deal with them than doing general selling. But again, it's not automatic. Then can be based on the products or category or brand. That is all of that. Category, brand, marketing people will kill me, but I say that's the same. Of course, it's not the same, but it's very similar, which means that based on the product, it's just the question, how would you group the product? Is it based on the category? Is it based on the brand or, or the, or the type of the product? So that's it. This is, that's it. You know, this is the by brand. Okay. So that's the logic. Or you want to go by channels or you want to go by key accounts or you want to go by internet or uh, is internet just ordering? Or internet is also profit center. I don't know. It depends. Can be usually in B two B is ordering. It's not really profit center, but in B two C, that is one another another shop. Again, in general, or can be projects, different type of projects. Can be you know in construction buildings. They can be you know you have a building project. In that case, you do not have sales is not sales is not uh, profit center. Project is profit center yeah. because sales is selling and then you will get the project for three years and somebody should take care that the project is profitable. A sales is not taking care about that. Somebody else is taking care of that. And that's the same, you know, like different type of technologies, different type of projects or metro or I don't know, tunnels. Uh, that's different or industrial construction. That is again different or bridges you know so that's that's again different so many many different things one case we had in uh, in the in one huge uh, construction company they 
500 people, they perceived themselves like we do projects. And they were waiting for an owner to bring projects. All together, five, 6,000 people. You know, all of them were waiting that the, 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 the chief will come and bring projects and then we are going to do that. Mm -hmm. But then what we changed, we changed that we introduced project management and the project groups who are going to run the project. But that means that managing director of industrial construction should become sales guy, should become what you say, open door opener, you know, because otherwise if they are just waiting, they are dead. But at the same time, this is how we call the marketing department. <laughs> Coffee with investors. In fact, drink with, with, with investors, but um, to be more uh, polite, uh, that's it. You know, so the logic is that you need to split them. You introduce project managers, you are going there and you will be selling in general. So that is how you project the growth and what you can, what the change, in fact. Then if you have, if you build a, if you are in real estate and you build huge blocks of, of <laughs> buildings, then that is profit center because the cost, revenue, everything will be there for five years. So you cannot escape that. You know, you cannot escape that reality. Or in shipyard, that is the profit center. The ship, I mean, how else? I and mean, you cannot go and talk about the sales and everything is there. If you make money here, you make money. If you do not, you are dead, you know? So you must take care of the different types of industries. And that is, that's what is important. Of course, NGO, it's exactly the same. Just you do not call it profit. But again, they must have certain result. They must, but you know, the purpose is different. Purpose is more value oriented. But at the, at the end of the story, there is money behind. Just the way how they get money is in general different. That's the, that, but otherwise, you know, all the spendings, all the, all the other stuff, that exactly the same. And you probably here, you will not call it profit center, it will be call it purpose center. That would be purpose, 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 purpose center. That would be, that would be more. For instance, call this purpose center. Yeah, yeah. We had, we had one, my, my one one of my clients that was in Ukraine, they been marketing agency, and uh, we had the organization a unit L'Oreal. So somebody will say, yeah, but you have different projects. Yeah, but <laughs> you know the contract with these guys it was for four five years, and three hundred fifty people were working on L'Oreal every day. So you cannot say you know it's it's not profit center. All the rest is other you know classical. Uh, marketing agency. They had, in fact, two bigs. It was L'Oreal and Jokia that time, you know? So you cannot escape that reality and say, you know, now it's a different. No, it's L'Oreal. That's the, that's a profit center because you make that. Very similar, we had one case. It is the SIS software integrator. What is software integrator? You have plenty of different type of software who will come to your account, okay? And you, you must make that clear that all of them together will work accurately. So that is software integration in general, okay? And then what happened is that after they finished that, five huge banks said, but we would like you to work with us. And they sent, every, it was before COVID, they sent every day 50 people in the data center of the big banks. You know, that means 520 people were <laughs> on their behalf in five different from uh, five different banks every day so in in the structure you must make that so because here the key point is customer service and such things it's not selling there is no selling but there is a cost there is a revenue there is a customer satisfaction and you must have it in the structure you cannot escape escape such things that's what happened that's what happened there uh, or, or for instance, you know, heating, cooling company, etc. They had a service which was seen as a yellow unit, help, just helping, uh, just helping, you know, to do the projects. But then somebody said, you know, but we can make money out of this. There is a good, you know, the preventive services, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But what we did, we moved. Uh, now it's what happened to you, <laughs> your, your your case. Yellow unit moved to the first line. It became green. 
And then somebody, but not the previous guy came, but somebody who is a business person came, tried to make the product, tried to make right. the thing, and then they grow. You know, this is this was a small company. They had in service, they had probably five people, but in three years, they have 60 people. Mm -hmm. From five to 60 in three years, you know, because and that was, you know, completely new job. Also, <laughs> we had also sometimes a mission. It was one example that they said, we want 50 stores to open every day. Uh, not every day, every year. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's, that's, it, that's it, even for them, it's going to be too much, even for them. But then, you know, what was the point? The point was that, said, okay, but you know what is 50? That means every week. You know, every week must be something. Oh, that means, I, I mean, maybe you are joking. That is what Ichak said, you know, with the, with the structure can be changed or strategy can be changed. Do you really like it? Or then you need to put money into that. That means that you must have a special unit, which is opening of the stores. Otherwise, nothing can happen. It's not, you know, a retail guy will do it when have time, you know, uh, it's not possible. And so, if you open one every week, you probably need more than one team. One team, but who, with who knows how many people with different specialties, you know, who is finding the shops, who is equipped the shop, who is trained people. We had a huge, this um, in Serbia, we had a, uh, two, two, three years ago, a Lidl, that is the famous German company. Mm -hmm. They, they had the complete logistic center closed before opening for one year with everybody there because they wanted to have enough shops open and then to start immediately in one day in one day started 25 25 hypermarkets you know and that is what they did and you know you, you can imagine that huge logistic center which was you know there for one year completely equipped everything was there and they've been trained nothing more than that yep. we have the same luck okay that so that means that's their logic yeah that's their logic but of course for that you must have a lot of money i mean <laughs> it's good, but you know, money is a money is a question. Okay, so imagine that you have one restaurant, okay, and now you build another one, and now you build a hotel, which is maybe you know for all the owners they like to have restaurants, vineyards, and uh, wineries. That's what people like. Okay, so they started doing that. What is the difference? Used to be everything here. Now you must have a project manager who is taking care of that. You must have somebody who is going to take care and train people, you know, the cooks and the, and the, and the waiters and all of that. And the, a chain of, uh, this is very simplified, simplified structure. I'm just trying to tell you the point. When you have, you know, uh, all, all the purchasing, all the stuff, it's completely different. And if you will be waiting until it's, it's finished, sorry. <laughs> You need to do it. You need to project, and that is what we do in the structure. That's why what we take from your mission in order to project where to go, and it's absolutely okay that something is empty. Absolutely okay, no problem. But you know where to put something when it will come. Yeah, please. But it's usually what happens. I mean, the the when you have clients and then let's say they have a restaurant and they open a second one, they have somebody that takes care of the food. They have somebody to take care of the service, but it's not really organized in a way that sure. enables you to have sure. growth as you grow. And it I think used that's to be the person. chief of waiters here and chief cook here. It used to be there. And then now you need to move them out in order to uh, agree, you know, in the restaurant. That's why I use the example of restaurant because for restaurants it's clear. But it, it happens in, in our in our businesses as well, you know, where it's not clear. Uh, that's that's there. So one example, and I'm going to finish this. Uh, uh, it was the client. I mean, without this, th that that used to be there in lighting, you know, production, uh, in different, you know, for hotels, for businesses, even can you can buy it in the shops, so different type of that. And they had the classical departments, you know, nothing more than that white. Which means that is how we found them, you know. So it was it was at the beginning. The first structure was that ah sorry, where is now that ah that was that one okay. I will tell you okay. Let me let me show you okay. So then uh, I don't know why I, I I moved one slide and now it's uh, it's everything is uh, it's it's over there. I need to find it over there. You need okay. to face five guys lines please. Two greens. The problem was, uh, uh, so the for forecast was that the domestic domestic uh, market will uh, go down, 
And they had at that time just 10 to 20% of export, nothing more than that. Okay. So it's going down so that we need to go out. So that is that is that that was the that was the logic. So instead of sales, we had the two greens. And the greens are project sales, projects, in fact, projects and distribution. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then and then plus third one was export. So these two projects and this uh and uh distribution was in the country and exports out of the country. And that's it. So that was the first green with some development and marketing. And then it was very interesting that we went to the, we, I mean, they, they put a lot of money into students to bring students from design universities, you know, to, to do new design. They got European award, red dot. So at the same time, many new engineers, then they invested into Frankfurt Fair because for this business, that's, that's the most important fair. So you need to go there. They got, I don't know, 400 business cards. When we put 400 business cards, you know, in the groups, we found Dubai, Moscow, and West, Western Europe. That's it. So, and then we, we changed the structure. So international operations, domestic operations. Domestic operations are still projects and distributions. And this is not a, a export anymore, because now you have people in Dubai, which are local people. You have in Russia, local people. You have in Frankfurt, local people. So uh, that everything changed. So the greens are there. And what is interesting that product development now, we had in each of these units, probably 20, 30, 40 people, I don't know. You know, so now in, in, in marketing, it's not just one marketing and I don't know, a few guys doing social media, you know, you had very, very, you know, so that was the investment. Gradually, what happened? We, in fact, we changed that, that now 95% is export, which we do not call export because we are now an international company in a way. And even they moved the headquarters into Frankfurt. So it's now it's a, that for them it's local. Production is in domestic in the domestic country, you know, so it, it's how it used to be. But now they do not define themselves as a company from that country, but somehow production is there. But we are international company and that is inside. So that is the story of 10 years. That's the story of 10 years. Okay? And that that, that that's how how those things been changed. What is also one of the key problems? And I will I will stop with the principles and I will, I will close this. Many companies, what we found, they do not have any R&D activities. Do you call it R&D or any, any type? They do not have that. that. They do not have clear product development, process development, HR development, IT development, organizational development, any. I don't know, if you want PMO, if you want that, that can be included there, doesn't matter. But simply what we found out that the way in many cases we put the seed. We start with department and in three years you have people. It's like really, you know, growing, you know, you start with the dean, they need to have, and you know, in some cases, I really, somebody said, yes, they do not have permanent synergy. I do not have problem that for in certain cases, instead of call it product management, I call it product management synergy. Somebody is taking care of that and it's, it's a permanent until it will become department. You know, because otherwise it will be done in the same way. I will take people from different departments doing some product development and that's senior team, you know, until they finish. So do you call it this way that it is up to you, but what you need to do, you need to put the seed. What is the point? I like them to be nervous that they don't do anything with that. You know, although it is in the chart, you know, I like, I like them to, to do that. You know, it's like uh, we vote by. By resources. Just imagine that you have, for instance, assume that in the last six months I have not uh, brought my uh, wife to any dinner or something. At the same time, I bought uh, some gadgets to my car. Definitely, I love more my car than my wife. <laughs> I can talk whatever I want. Okay, I can talk whatever I want, but that's that's true. So the result is that you know. Uh, in the way here, 
if we put something even empty in the structure, at least you are nervous. And if you will spend some money on that, that means that you do something. If you will not spend money, it means that you don't do it. So that is what, what I have every, every spring. My wife, she brings me to the, this, this is San Severia. I don't know what is in English. Uh, so, and, and she says, take it out, split into three and put into another two bots. What happens in the, in a year, all three are full. So that is profit centers and that is kids. So we let them grow and then all of them will grow and we need to let them grow. So that's the general, that's the general idea that we need to, you know, because the profit centers should have ability, each of them to go toward prime. Not maybe the lowest one, but the others that the top level, of course, they should be able to go to the prime. Okay. So the point was that empty boxes are something which you need to create in order to move the organization. Are they immediately empty or not? But then that's how you change things. And as a result of that, always you want to develop my plan and development. Growth must be developed, plan, and be planned by structure as well. Okay. So, and then you, we need to put software to measure profitability on that. And then you are in control. Of course, black book as well, as well, et cetera, et cetera. But there are, there are some other, other things. So there are some accountability software, which is so all together. What I, I like very much this one, when I'm working on a problem, I never think about beauty, but when I have finished, if the solution is not beautiful, I know that it is wrong. So that is the system that is structure. If it fits. And you know, people understand it and it's logical, then it's okay. If it's a little bit this way, a little bit that way, then it's not logical. Then it's not the system. And sorry, then something is wrong. And people usually make such, such structures. Idea is that it's not that one person cannot sleep at all. Eh? It's the owner eh? or CEO, but at least, you know, that 15 people <laughs> should sleep one hour less. <laughs> so that's, that's what we now. <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> who is who? I don't know. But, but that's, that's the point. So that's what we do. We really emancipate kids and letting them grow. And that's, 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 what, is, that's what is important. That's important for us. Thank you.